All righty, welcome back into another episode of Getting Technical, brought to you by Better and Green. I am Ethan. With me, as always, is Wyatt. Uh, Wyatt, we're off a, a crazy weekend of college basketball. Um, I know you and I both unloaded after uh, going live on Saturday. Um, unloaded on that slate. Uh, have another decent night on Monday uh, tonight when we're recording this, and then Tuesday, Wednesday really kicks off a nice week of college basketball. Um, how was your weekend? How you doing today? Yeah, as you said, we we went way too overboard on Saturday. Unfortunately, I went exactly seven and seven, which is just it's fine. I guess I'll take it. It ended up being down units because when you take a minus one ten bets and you go even, it's you're down. But um, yeah, a little frustrating there. Saturday or Sunday, I actually had a decent day. Um, Monday, which again we're recording right now, I'm hoping to have a good day. Um, but as you said, yeah, Tuesday, we have a great slate. I'm excited to talk about it. Um, we only have like a week or two left of regular season college basketball. So all these systems that we talk about, all of these um, sharp plays that are have potential, uh, these are no longer going to be the same uh, system and plays that we will have moving forward. So, um, yeah, this is kind of the last chance to really get a feeling for uh, these teams um, that we're going to see in March. So. Um, as a college basketball fan, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how things shape up, see how conferences end. Um, but I'm just so excited for March Madness. I can't wait to f- wait for it to be here. We're uh, about three or four weeks away from that. So, uh, um, yeah, it, it's winding down. Uh, excited for the slate. Excited for the season. Um, hopefully, we can stay profitable, and I'm excited to get into it. Yeah, I uh, I'm sad that it's coming to an end. Of course, I'm pumped for March Madness, but like you said, some of the systems, uh, some of the the ways we like to bet college basketball go out the window. Conference ch- championships are uh, or conference tournaments are extremely tough for me to bet personally. Um, but did do really well in the March Madness tournament last year, so hopefully we can kind of duplicate that. Um, for this Tuesday slate, we are. Uh, Breaking down three games, as always, we're going to start with 16th-ranked Kentucky at unranked Mississippi State. Um, We're then going to look into uh, Texas at Texas Tech, both teams currently unranked. Uh, And we're going to close out with another unranked game uh, in the Mountain West, Nevada at Colorado State. Um, We'll start with that SEC matchup, Kentucky at Mississippi State. I'm seeing Mississippi State right around a a two-and-a-half-point favorite, over under 156-and-a-half. I will throw it to you first. What are you liking in this game? Yeah, I mean, Kentucky ruined me on, I believe it was Sunday. Um, Might have been Saturday, I forget. Kentucky against Alabama. I think me and you were both on the under of that game. Uh, That halftime score was 42 to 59. Kentucky had 59 points at halftime. To put that into perspective, the halftime score of North Carolina, uh, Virginia was 26 to 16. So uh, about 50 more, 60 more points were scored at the halftime of Kentucky, Alabama, um, then North Carolina, Virginia. Anyways, Kentucky, great win, phenomenal win at home um, against Alabama last weekend. Um, Now they're an underdog by two and a half points at Mississippi State. I'm not fully bought in on Kentucky. I know a lot of people just um, redid their buy-in on Kentucky after that big week win over the weekend. I don't buy it at all. Kentucky is still Kentucky. They struggle at home. They struggle on the road. They struggle all season long. Give me Mississippi State all day. I'm going to take them on the minus two. Honestly, just bet on money line. Don't worry about that two and a half. Love Mississippi State. Probably my favorite play of the day. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Huge letdown spot for uh, Kentucky here after, like you said, that throttling of Alabama. Um, Yeah, under was dead in the water four minutes in. The under four (laughs) or the under 16 whistle. I was like, we are royally screwed. Luckily, I uh, used that DraftKings boost on Kentucky um, money line, so ended up breaking even. But um, yeah, just horrible play on the under. That's why I don't handicap college basketball totals. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was Kentucky's last big game until their uh, matchup at Tennessee to end the regular season. They're at Mississippi State and then home against Arkansas and Vanderbilt. So. Um, I just don't think they really care that much about Mississippi State. Um, whereas Mississippi State is still seventh in the SEC. They're looking to um, bolster their record, maybe squeak into the top four in the conference before tournament time. Um, they have Kentucky and then Auburn. Um, 
they lost to Kentucky earlier in the year. They already beat Auburn, so I don't think they're looking ahead. I think they're focused on Kentucky. Um, yeah, I I love Mississippi State. I'm going to lay the two and a half, but like you said, you can money line them. Um, yeah, I think they cover this one pretty easily. Yeah, I love fading Kentucky. Unfortunately, it didn't work last weekend, but I was never on the spread. Again, I was on the the under, and I was stupid. But, yeah, I don't believe in Kentucky, and everyone's jumping on Kentucky now, again, after a big win against Bama, who people forget Bama is also suspect to uh, a little bit of fraudulent tendency. So, love Mississippi State. Um, probably a fair play today. Again, I'm going to reiterate that. Love the Bulldogs way too much. Yeah, I, uh, I'll i probably be betting that, too, once we get off here. I'm seeing a lot of money already pouring in on Mississippi State, which our little strategy has been public this year, but it's still hitting. So yeah. I don't really get scared off by that, by the public side anymore in college basketball at this time. But, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, next game here, uh, looking in the Big 12, Texas at Texas Tech. Both teams currently unranked. Uh, I believe Texas Tech might have just fallen out of the rankings. Um, I forget. Yeah. Lost to UCF, uh, knocked them out of the rankings, but I'm seeing Texas tech right around a four and a half point home favorite over under 145. I'm going to start with this game and I'm going to look to back Texas in this one. Uh, just got their doors blown off them by Kansas last time out lost by 21. That was on the road. Um, and Texas needs every win they can get at this time. They already lost to Texas tech earlier in the year have Oklahoma State on deck, so no look ahead, the worst team in the conference. Um, yeah, I just think Texas really needs this win. Like I just mentioned, Texas Tech off the loss to UCF. Uh, West Virginia on deck, so the second worst team in the conference. So not a huge look ahead spot there for Texas Tech either, but at the end of the year, I mean, I still think Texas is a better team. I know they've had their struggles, but um, yeah, in this rivalry game, even though Texas Tech is at home, I think Texas with that revenge probably needs this just a little bit more than Texas Tech does. Um, I'm going to take a stab at Texas plus the points. What do you think of that one? I'm all over Texas. All over Texas in this game. Um, as you said, Texas, bad loss to Kansas. Uh, Texas Tech also coming off a loss. So two teams, both losses. We can cancel that out. But Texas Tech won the first matchup at Texas back on uh, January 6th. Um, shout out to Insurrection Day. Um Texas Tech won that game by 11 points. Absolutely embarrassed Texas. Texas is now, I believe, they're at Texas Tech, correct? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, they're at Texas Tech. No no shot of being a three-and-a-half-point underdog in this game. They should at least be a seven- to a ten-point underdog. Love Texas. Texas is winning on the money line. Take a money line right now. Love Texas. Might be – might love them more than Mississippi. Mississippi State. Love them equally as much. I love this slate, by the way. Um, so I love Texas. I might have a three-leg parlay with this slate as well. But Texas is winning as the underdog. Money line straight up. Love them. Love it. Love your confidence there. That uh, As of now, it's not a play for me, but that might have just pushed me over the edge there. Um, we'll close out in the Mountain West, a conference that you and I have both been loving this year. Uh, extremely competitive, fun conference to follow. We're looking at, again, two unranked teams, but um, kind of been creeping around the rankings, especially Colorado State. We have Nevada on the road at Colorado State. Colorado State, six-point home favorite, over under 138. I'm going to throw it to you first here. What are you liking in this Mountain West matchup? Yeah, these two teams played back on uh, January 24th. Um, Nevada won that game by 13 points, 77 to 64. Nevada was at home. Now it's at Colorado State. Colorado State coming off a, a couple of tough losses um, most recently. Um, Colorado State is still a three, uh, five, five and a half to six point favorite. It's got to be Colorado State. Got to be Colorado State at home on the revenge against Nevada. Colorado State, I think, wins this game by 20 plus points. Yeah, I'll. Uh... We'll make it a, a clean sweep here, make it easy on the viewers. I love Colorado State. Don't really have much more to add with the revenge factor um, off two losses. Um, the look-ahead game for them is Wyoming. They lost Wyoming this year in overtime, but Wyoming's not a threat in this conference, so it's not like you know a San Diego State or Utah State, someone like that. Um, so don't think they're really looking ahead. This is their last big game. Then they can close out with wins against Wyoming and Air Force and move on to the conference tournament. Um, yeah, part of my – or 
really my biggest system of the year that I've mentioned a thousand times is um, home Mountain West teams laying that minus five and a half, six, six and a half. Well, not six and a half, five, five and a half, six. Um, fits the mold. Absolutely love it. Colorado State, favorite play of the day. Yeah, I love them. And again, I honestly love all three plays. I haven't placed them yet, but I it's uh, 722 on Monday. And I think I'm going to place all three of those. Might even parlay them all. Um, so make sure you check out my Twitter, at Worst Bets. Also, Ethan was be posting them over at eBay Bridge 26 on Twitter. Um, love these plays, honestly. And the last time I loved the Tuesday slate, went up 31 units last Tuesday. So I'm um, going to stick to my Tuesdays being the hot days. I feel way too confident about these, which I did last Tuesday as well. And I thought that was a bad sign. Turns out. It was an omen. So I love these plays. I think I might, I think I might parlay them. I love it. We have another 31 unit day in store. I'm calling it now. Um, that would be incredible if that happens, but, um, yeah, guys, it's going to wrap it for this episode of getting technical. Uh, we're likely going to have another Wednesday episode, uh, with Wednesday slate being probably better than Tuesday slate, honestly. Um, so look out for that. We'll probably be going live again on Saturday. I will be down in Florida, but I'm still planning on hopping on maybe a nice cocktail in hand. We'll see how that one ends up. Um, but until then, guys, uh, keep an eye out for more getting technical. Uh, we'll have our hockey show five minute wager with Ben and I coming out Thursday morning. Um, we will have another tapping Vegas MMA or video coming out. Um, so just keep your eyes peeled. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, ring that bell so you don't miss an episode. really helps us in the long run, um, helps us do this more full-time. Head over to bettergreen.com. You can check out all of our articles coming out there, see where our premium plays are, um, which have kind of been few and far between as football season has ended. But I know Ben's still throwing out some MMA premium plays. Um, Noel's throwing out some NBA player props. Uh, Aaron is throwing out some soccer articles. You and I are still dabbling in all the sports. So um, head over there, check that out. Head over to Sharps, download the app, use code BET269, BET with two T's, B-E-T-T-269. Um, really fun atmosphere over there. We've really enjoyed our time there. So um, join the community with Sharps. And guys, until the next episode, uh, enjoy watching these games and good luck with all your bets. You better start listening to the Better in Green podcast. You will not regret it. Trust me, trust me, trust me. And hey, I'm Dean Blandino. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Better in Green. Eh? To Better in Green. Eh? To Better in Green. Hey, listen in and cash out. That's what it's all about. Come on, let's make cash now. We always on spot and we cover old spot from the bottom to the top. Hey. Shout out to Ethan, shout out to Wyatt, shout out to Ben. Welcome, welcome to our podcast. Better win green.